Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I don't have many regrets in life because I just don't believe in regrets. I don't believe that you can't look at something that seems like a terrible thing for you and at least not learn from it. I don't believe that you can't turn lemons into lemonade, that you can't have something that seems tragic but ends up being positive. I believe that this is a, um, a chance to learn and grow in life. And things don't always go your way. In fact, we have what's called, and I talk to my students about this every week now. I probably should be every day. We have a resilience problem in this world where people don't want to accept failure. They just want to think that it's not an option. And so it used to be helicopter parents that were like micromanagers. And now there are full-blown bulldozer parents. These are people that will literally step in front of adversity and crisis that their children face just to prevent them from potentially failing. All of that is to say, this is one of the most painful videos I've ever recorded because I had no idea that I was going to be even in the top 800 for the arena. In the first round, I put up somewhat of a similar score and wasn't in the top 1,000. So my 43.9 million, I was like, okay, you know, maybe I'll break the top 1,000, but probably nothing close, right? Look, for this score, for the second round of a future champion, I am not just closer than 1,100 in terms of my position. I'm close enough to where this is really, really frustrating. And what's really neat is you see all these different uh, alliances. It, this is a much different leaderboard than what I used to see because with the top 400, there's far less motivation to take those 100 spots of previous generations. Now, could some of these people still be cheating the system? Of course. And I really do think one of the things Kabam should do to make it better for summoners that don't cheat and don't break those terms of service is to more routinely, because it's like once every couple years right now, go through, kick out, and permanently ban the people that breaks the terms of service and then move up the people who are close on the outside looking in and give them the champion. Because you might be thinking it's top 1% to 5%. How close can this guy really be? Well, let's dive deeper, shall we? Let's go to, uh-oh, where are we going? Where are we heading? Oh, yeah, that's right. Amongst all these things to claim, top 2,000 for Kamala Khan. That's kind of hilarious. But 523, that is so much closer. That's over 500 spots closer with a very small difference in score to what I thought I was going to get. And... Had I known that I would be that close, I probably would have grinded out for the champion. I would have, I was I was up early this morning. I would have done some arena this morning, contributed even more to my hero use score. And instead, I just have to be able to look at what almost was. This is, in terms of like a drop, I don't know what the cutoff was, but I would imagine it's, it could be literally about half of what round one was. That is just unheard of. That is unheard of. And I have to uh, I have to deal with that. You know, <laughs> I have to I have to deal with the consequences of that in my own potential regret of life. So that is the news for today. I wish I had better news to deliver, not just to you to myself, but at least we know that the round two drop could be so much, especially with so much going on with new content on Wednesday that it makes you kind of question why you didn't do it. I should have seen this coming, but I didn't. I should have seen this coming, but now it's just going to haunt me.